two, one, two. We're back, man. B side show down there like we do every Monday night. I got my homegirl in the building. Bill the Wonder, I'm about to beatbox. She's gonna rip it up. Ready? Here we go. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not ready for all that. It's St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Hey, check it out, man. We got Bell the Wonder in the fucking building on the B side show. What up, homegirl? What, what you up, been up what to? What up? What up? What up? How you doing, Rabbit? Uh, I'm okay. I'm, ha- I'm hanging right, in there. Right. Uh, hanging in there. I, I was I was telling your homegirl. Oh, she's famous, by the way. Your homegirl from what from your videos? <laughs> from the yellow dress video. Yeah, yellow dress videos. If you guys are, are inquiring about the one wearing, what were you wearing again? Orange. Yellow or orange? <laughs> if you're looking. It was yellow. I know how to get a hold of her, but I'm not telling you. All right, but anyways, check it out. Um, I'm a little sad because my dog's been missing for like a week. And the only reason I'm telling you because we're, you know, your grandparents yeah. live close to me. Yeah. So I figured if you've seen my dog, make sure you guys I'll tell you me. Know. Uh, huh? I'll let you know. Yeah, please. She's a blue and white pit. She's really nice. And her name's Rizzo. Rizzo. All right. Yeah. Okay, but besides Everybody all that, Rizzo. yeah, <laughs> what you been up to, Bill? What's going on? Um, just you know, enjoying the new year, taking in uh, a lot of beats coming into me, so I'm I'm processing over that right now. I'm already on my next uh, level of progression as an artist, so I'm enjoying that as it comes through. Um, That's this year. Really, really quick, considering you just dropped your debut. Right? Yeah, was I dropped that, it January? January 1st. Yeah, that's right. January 1st, uh, Lace with Pro. Lace with Pro was dropped on Bandcamp for free. So. Free music from Bell the Wonder. Yes, you heard it right. Whoa, on the whoa. On the B-Side show. You heard it here first. I mean, probably not, but I'm just saying that. It sounds good when I like say that. Who doesn't like free music? That's right. Who doesn't like? But plus, that's it's your music. Yeah. No, no, so really, though, you've been getting a lot of a lot of love, Bill, and I wanted to ask you what it's been like because it, it, it happened sort of fast, but the thing is, you're really consistent with it. Like, you don't disappoint. You, you The lyrics are there. Like, you really be killing it. What's it been like for you receiving this, uh, you know, notoriety? It's been, um, it's been fun, low-key. I think it just makes it easier for me to do what I do because I'm going to keep doing it the way that I do it, and it seems to work out for me the best. So as long as I keep um, enjoying what I'm doing, having fun with it and turning it into my own little flavor um i think everything will come uh, positive in the outcome Spe- speaking of fun did you have fun at um rhyme fest rhyme fest oh, la oh shit rhyme fest was fun yeah rhyme fest was fun you dj and, lala yeah. had the opportunity to have dj lala as my dj on the ones and twos and i think we just have like such a great great chemistry together that um no matter what we uh, are on the stage we just kill it we really speak to each other. No, I I could tell too. Like, I don't know how many shows you, shows you guys rocked together before that particular this one. Was our first one. Oh, okay. Well, but the see. thing is that me and Lala kick it like uh, outside of music. When I first met Lala, it was through one of my other homegirls, and we would all chill and you know smoke and relax and listen to beats. And I chilled with her plenty of times before we even decided to do anything music related. And I think when we did, we didn't realize how strong of a duo we made together. Oh, really? You guys, you could see the chemistry when you guys were rocking yeah, it. Like, that, that, like you already know what she was going to do, and she knew what you were going to do. Yeah, like, yeah. It was, it was natural. But we prepared, but I, yeah, like, I just think that the energy is there. Hey, I saw that, too. <laughs> I saw your uh, garage performance video. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Practice. her. That's actually her garage. Is it? Yeah, that's her garage. I was going to ask if it was down the street. That, I, I didn't know in, if it was uh, <laughs> That's in uh, in Orange County where she stays okay. at. So okay. her dad was nice enough to let me come through and make a lot of fucking noise in the garage, you know, and curse and, and do what I do best. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> she's all beep, beep. She's all making beeping yeah. sounds every time she comes. But it was fun. Uh, Lala busted out some B-girl fr- uh, freezes during my set, which is dope. Hey, hey, she's actually, like, when she's been on this show, she's done it right here before, too. Like, yeah, she's, she's taught me yeah. a few, so I get down because of her, you know. Lala is a, so my, my home So we're going to have a B-girl set at we your might, next show? At the B-side. Next show. B-girl set at the B-side. That, that's what's up, that. man. You heard it here first. Yeah. I just like saying that, by the way. <laughs> hey, hey, hey um, Lace with Pearls, though, um, your debut album. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it, it was i mean because we talked about it the first time you were on the show it was a work in progress that's cool okay it didn't yeah. shatter we're good hey no but um it was a, a, a yeah. long work in yeah. progress uh-huh. um, how did it feel to finally release that 
And for the people that don't know, production-wise, who you got on there? Um, it felt really fucking good to let it go. It was like a long shit that just needed to like get out, you know. Um, constip constipation was mad overdue. It was good. Like I, I think like a lot of people were pressuring me towards the end. But I'm glad, like, I never wanted to give in, you know? I never, like, really took it to the heart. I just kind of went on and doing my thing because I can't, I don't, I don't uh, plan to write a song. It just happens to come out. So um, I'm not somebody who forces shit, you know? Um, I go along with uh, what I need to do and I listen to beats and I feel inspired and then that's how a song comes out. And I like to think that all my songs are consistent and not um, up and down, you know? Slow motion for me slow motion for hey, wait. no but it was really good I'm, and i'm glad that i dropped it the day that i did too, because right at the of, beginning of the year yeah, set it of, off right a lot of people were going through the hangover listening to lace with pearls and they said that it helped i think it helped a little bit but so, so when they were when they were dealing with their first two weeks of the year hangover they partied so yeah. hard they got to listen it was to that. Dope. no no and and uh where again um can they get that where they can download that they one can more find time? um my album lace with pearls on bell the wonder dot bandcamp dot com um, that's pretty much where you can go buy it to get for free digital copy. I'm, I'm actually planning on releasing some physical copies uh, very, very soon. Um, and they're going to be dope. They're going to be more than just, you know, your regular uh, jewel case album. You know what? I'm corny like that. So since we're live on air, I'd like to say right now, can I please get one of those hard copies? I got you. All I right, got you. cool. We so I this. just throw that on air so <laughs> I, we could always go back and replay it and go, you hear that? She I said, said it. She, you heard yeah. it on here first. <laughs> You heard it on B side first. No, but real quick on the on the production on the album, uh, Manifest was the main producer on the album. He fucking killed it, like from beginning to end. He's got beats all over the album. He mixed and mastered the album. He recorded. I recorded at Cloud Nine Studios, and I really have to like give a big fucking thanks to that dude because hey, hey, dog, he, he's he really, dope. Yeah, he really is a uh, um, a scientist in the lab. You know, really, there's no, no better he, way to he's say dope, it. But and not his only beats production, are ridiculous. Yeah, his production and his his lyrics. beats and his flow and he flows he's he's got a, a verse on uh on limelight track 14 on the album so you got to check Man, that if, out hey hey if if you're uh you know if you happen to be watching for the homegirl bell the wonder you got you got to come on the b-side show Bring man it that's, on, that's real tough come come through and uh bell will tell you how to get here it's a secret location you gotta go through the back alley. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she only knows that way. Uh, <laughs> the smoking patio. Uh, I'm, uh, that was funny though. Just real quick though, uh, Belle asked for the address again, but really didn't need it because somehow she found the back alley to our location. Exactly. I don't know how that happened, but that's you how. Know, that's I know, how Belle I know gets the alleys. Down. And then uh, Escupe also had flavored some beats on there for myself, and I'm very, very uh, proud to have Escupe on the album as well. He's definitely out there you know pushing his product and his work right now and and all wish all the best luck to him and the rest of the producers stuck in the trees was another he he produced one of the, my most favorite tracks on the album um ain't a reason which is the opening song to the album so stuck in the trees bless me um shout out to rebels to the grain for that one shout out to the homies from rebels to the grain yeah, man definitely break um, beats and rhymes break radio and rhymes, man absolutely that's the homies right there man they we we like jump on each other's shows man we're we're cool like that man. yeah i usually see you Y'all and um, and break beats at shows. I, know, I definitely see B side putting in work and break beats right. and I putting in work. We, and I'm glad we to, really love this shit. Like we <laughs> love hip hop. That's why we're there. You I'm know? glad to uh, able to work with um, local local supporters. You know because I like to support local artists back in return. So that's cool. That's right, man. Tell the wonder. That's right. On the B side show. And she, That's right. she actually likes coming to the show. You heard it here first on the B side. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, we played already. Yellow dress. Right. And your friend had a cameo in that. Yeah, I feel like did. I feel like we should say that again for some reason, because she's <laughs> she's, Cause she's in, right here. Yeah, because she's in here vibing out with us, man. Oh, look, now she's gonna act shy. Uh, <laughs> ap after this, we're gonna have you come up and rap. So just be, be ready. Hey, no, no. But the next video, which one you want to show um, next? Um, it's for the people. So I don't know. Whatever the people want to see. What what video want to see? Oh, them peeps. <laughs> hey, what do I, you want to make a request? Which one do you think she should play first? She already played Yellow Dress. All right, we'll do Los Arboles. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? A Borles? <laughs> <laughs> it's the okay, green. What are those? Happy St. Patrick's Day. She's got the green in her. Yeah. <laughs> green for trees. Los Arboles right here. here B-Side Show. Vel the Wonder in the here building. Yeah. B-Side.net. 